What's up everyone, Sean from ARTV. It's time for another installment of I've Never Heard, and we have the band Greta Van Fleet for me to react to today. These are going to be my first impressions of the rock and roll band, which I know a lot of people are comparing to Led Zeppelin. I personally don't know because I've never heard their music outside of like little 30 second iTunes previews and little clips that have been used in like TV shows and that sort of thing. So today you will actually be seeing my first reactions to the band. Do I love them? Do I hate them? Am I somewhere in the middle? Each song I go through and react to, I will either hit with a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a meh. Make sure you watch the whole video because after I do my initial first reaction, I will go through, look up information about the band, listen to the songs again, and come back with a final verdict. Hey, now that we got that out of the way, now we can react to Greta Van Fleet. So let's take a listen to Highway Tune first. Drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, and buckle up, kiddos, because we're going into Greta Van Fleet territory. Smoky riffs already, kind of coming through. Very bluesy, very of the 60s, 70s. Ha! <laughs> I hear the Robert Plant influences already. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't into this. I've heard this in a commercial or something, I know I have, but I, I like his voice. I love that riff. Mm, instantly stands out, already stuck in my head. Okay, can I just say I understand why now? I understand why people are constantly talking about the whole Led Zeppelin worship. Just hitting those scales. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Oh! This definitely has a classic ring to it. I'm not kidding. Kid's got a voice on him. What can I say? That's get up and move music right there. That is get up and move and dance your ass off in the 1960s type music. I definitely uh, have to give a thumbs up to that one. I enjoyed the hell out of it. Maybe they're not doing anything to add that much to the formula so far, but let's see what else they have to offer. The next one we're gonna listen to is the lead single, When the Curtain Falls, from their album that's about to come out pretty soon, Anthem of the Peaceful Army. It's been a hard day's night. No, close, I was close. Whoa! Mm. That voice caught me off guard here. Nice shuffling drums on this one. The chorus is definitely catchy, but with this being the lead single, I maybe expected something a little bit more impactful. I definitely had my ears perked up after hearing his vocals unleashing at the start. I like that. Little classic rock shout out tip of the hat there. The drums sound oddly compressed here. Like some sort of filters being placed on them. Howling rock, howl at the moon type moment right there. Oh, there I go. There I go. Good sign. Even though I had fun with that, I'm feeling a little bit hesitant towards it because it does kind of sound similar to the other song, the first one, Highway Tune, that I listened to in some ways. And with this being like coming after their From the Fires little mini album or EP or whatever, uh, I expected maybe a little bit more growth on it. I don't know. I think I'm going to be cautious here and say meh for this one, but keep in mind, any of my ratings can be overturned when I go back and give a second listen and come back with my final thoughts at the end of the video. The song that I'm about to react to now just came out today, the day that I'm recording this video. It's called Lover, Lever. Kind of seems like a play on words like love her, leave her. It seems like it could be going for that, but then I guess I haven't heard the song yet, so that was very presumptuous of me. Let's click play. Sounds like something my dad would be into. Kind of predictable lyrics so far, for sure. Hey, 
Hey, it looks like I got something right. Okay. I'm loving this guitar right here. The drums, too. The guitar and drums sound really nice, but the bass is just kind of thudding. Build up. Pay off. Do it. There it is. This dude's voice literally has a quality that resonates, that sounds like he wasn't born in this era. That's either a natural gift or else a hell of a lot of training to sound like Zeppelin, to sound like the 60s, the 70s, and that whole aura and vibe that they got going on. Ah, yes. A very grandiose rock send-off. And then, there it is. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I think that might actually be my favorite song that I've heard so far. Definitely a thumbs up from me on this one. About to hit play on the next song here. This one is called Black Smoke Rising, once again, from From the Fires. Makes sense. Black Smoke Rising from the Fires. Hey, I just auto-completed the sentence. A little bit more loose so far. I like that. The intro is very nice. Vocals on point here. Mm. There's the album title. <laughs> Go alone. <laughs> that sounds very like Britney, uh, early Britney Spears career. I know she wasn't the first to do it, but those vocal, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it just sounded a little bit cheesy, sorry. The verses are reeling me in. Nice little breakdown that feels almost like a little elevator jazzy tempo. Damn. The Carpenters meets Zeppelin meets Aerosmith, anyone? Despite how cheesy I felt like the go -o -o part was, I really did like how that guitar was just zipping along the whole time. It was kind of dancing around at the end too, getting a little bit more innovative as it went on. You could actually hear a little bit more of the bass and that in the back of my mind up until this point and the reaction was like kind of standing out to me as being a little bit weaker, but I could actually hear it a little bit more here and that was nice. The drummer once again on point. This is a sharp song, a catchy one with a nice chorus. I feel like it helps them stand out a little bit more as a group and I think it's definitely a like. Two more songs to go. The first of those is going to be Flower Power. So let's get on our hippie crowns and go. Oh yeah, join hands everyone. Get in the circle. Nice use of the organ here. Dark looming bass there with that nice acoustic. Up and down the valley voice, dang. Nice booming drums leading up to that kind of Americana style break that we got going on here. Very open, very inviting. Making me feel good over here, guys. I like that line. They about to go into Freebird here? I really didn't expect the song to exit on like a long instrumental interlude like that. That is a nice thing that mixes things up a bit. I definitely like it and I'm kind of surprised up to this point. I really didn't know how I was gonna feel about Greta Van Fleet. All right, this is the last one and I know fans would probably be upset with me if I did not react to Safari Song. It's one of their most popular in terms of numbers on YouTube, on Spotify, Apple, everything like that. So let's see what all the hype is about for Safari Song. <laughs> Already reminds me of the first one, Highway Tune. Bass is creeping up in the background. 
mixing nicely with these vocals. I think the biggest trouble that I'm having with the song so far is that the lyrics feel more uninspired, the whole oh mama thing, it definitely, I'm definitely feeling like it's trying to be like an old song. I'm just kidding, wrong song, that's not Black Dog. Wait, are we sure this isn't Black Dog? This part of the song is catching me a little bit more. The guitar is trying a little harder. Yeah, I kind of get what people are saying on that one. Uh, if that's the first song that you listen to and you didn't bother to check out more and you're like, oh my god, Safari song, that sounds straight up like Zeppelin, I probably wouldn't blame you that much. I don't dislike it, it just feels like I'm listening to a cover of a song that's not actually a cover, but it just feels like two in the same vein is a lot of different things. And even though the music did stand out more in the second half, overall, I don't feel like it was enough to redeem it past a meh. It's that time of the video where we look up more information about the band or artists, so I have taken to the internet to look up information about Greta Van Fleet. It seems like they've been pretty successful up to this point, although they were formed back in 2012, which I had no idea about. I also did not know that three of the members are brothers. You've got Josh, Sam, and Jake, and then you've got the other guy, Danny Wagner. Sorry, you kind of sound like the Danny Tanner of the group right there. We've got the brothers, Josh Kazaka, Jake Kazaka, and Sam Kazaka, and then you've got Danny Wagner. Kizka, Kizka, Kazaka, Kazaka, what the hell do I know? I can't pronounce for shit. So they had the Black Smoke Rising EP, that was their debut that came out, and then they had a compilation where they put the songs from that, and then put them together on From the Fires with the new single Safari Song, and it seems like they, like I said, have seen some success on the mainstream rock charts. I haven't really seen them cross over to the alternative charts. I keep more of an eye on that one, but it seems like they definitely have the potential to if more people start to embrace this sound. It seems like they get asked about in interviews from the ones that I just looked up. They get asked about the whole Led Zeppelin thing pretty often, and I don't think the lead singer Josh is too crazy about the fact that they're constantly compared to Led Zeppelin and his voice to that of Robert Plant's which I get it could be annoying, but also you literally sound a lot like him. So it's gonna come up. If you didn't want it to, then I don't know, get vocal lessons that sound like somebody else. I actually was wondering about where the band got the name Greta Van Fleet, and it seems like they got it when a relative was talking about somebody named Gretna Van Fleet and then they just used a play on those words and ran with it. I was kind of wondering if there was some distinct meaning, but it seems like it's maybe like a family name or something. They definitely have kind of a bluesy, heavy rock, classic hard rock sound to them, and I, I personally am liking it so far. I guess I can understand why some people wouldn't like it, but again, I like Led Zeppelin. I like a lot of older music like that, and if they can do the sound well, then more power to them, because how many people do you really hear out there trying to revive classic rock? I mean, I don't hear people shitting on the 80s sounding bands nearly as much as they do on Greta Van Fleet. It's later in the day, the final verdicts are in for the songs. I think for the most part, I agree with my initial impressions of the tracks, the likes, the mez. I didn't give any dislikes, and I still definitely wouldn't. If anything, a few of the tracks grew on me. I think the best songs out of the batch that I listened to today, my personal favorites and the ones that I am saving to my rotation would be Black Smoke Rising. That one has a great fierce guitar on it, not super fierce in the sense that it's always in your face or anything. I just like the fact that it's just kind of searing in the background and doing some innovative things as the song keeps progressing. And I like Josh's vocals on that track a whole lot. Highway Tune obviously seems to be their most popular song and I can understand why. It's a very fun song. It has a a lot of charisma and charm to it, some wit, and definitely has those older sentiments and sensibilities to it, like the late 60s, early 70s styled vibe that it has going on, and as does much of their music, but this one truly works just because it feels like a kick-ass driving song that you can just let loose to. The other top favorite for me was Lover Lever, that's one of the new songs from their upcoming album, Anthem of the Peaceful Army, which I will be reviewing on the channel, I've decided now at this point in time, I will be reviewing it, so make sure you subscribe if you would like to see a review 
review on that very, very soon. But I do like this song, and I think Josh vocally unlocks something for me that maybe he hadn't done up to that point. That's it for this episode of I've Never Heard, my first reactions to Greta Van Fleet. What do you guys think about this rock band? Let me know your opinions down below. I hope you enjoyed watching today. Please drop a like on the video if you did. I'm probably going to be reacting to BTS next, so check out the description down below. I should have a poll up that you can vote on for which songs you want me to react to from BTS. If you would like to support my channel on Patreon and help me keep doing what I'm doing on both of my channels, then please click the top link down below or this annotation in the corner of the screen. If you want to see me react to Palais Royale for the first time, then tap this card here or tap over here for another recent rock review I did on the channel. Socials in the description and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.